Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a couple of radish flowers today, very simple. This is our six piece garnishing set. It's in stock. Uh, you get this cool case, you get these six pieces. They're good for melons, they're good for uh, grapes and you know apples, pears, oranges, radishes, you name it. Uh, I personally like to keep my tools very sharp. So when I get something like this, uh, even, even new, I like to get them a little sharper. I'm using this uh, little diamond file once again here. I'm just going to give them a little, a little rub like this and get them just a little bit sharper so that they uh, cut through more effortlessly. You can do the uh, rounded side too, just very carefully like this. So, okay. So the first thing you got to do for a radish flower is you got to look at each radish and kind of size it up and decide what you're going to do with it, how it stands up. Uh, obviously flatten the bottom out like this so it stands up nice. Very simple way to cut a radish is just with a paring knife and you can uh, just give a couple of little cuts like this and remove the, uh, the center. That's kind of the beginning of a flower right there you can open these up and uh, they will open once they're in ice water uh, watch your fingers as you're cutting towards yourself there but this will open right up and uh, be kind of interesting looking in a couple hours when it opens uh, you can you can further enhance these and make them nicer with the little uh, V cutter so we're gonna do a couple different uh, flowers here today uh, with these radishes Okay, just like this. So this one's all done. This will go in cold water. And we're going to move on to another one here. Okay, this one I'm going to do a little bit differently. I'm going to use just the pointed part of the tool and uh, make a star pattern like this going in. Okay, it's pretty cool. And then uh, we're going to complete the star by going around and around uh, each, each part of it like this and removing a little bit of the material. Okay, you can remove it with the small paring knife or another tool if you want to just show off the top of the top of the flower. Okay, I'm going to continue with this one and just go around removing a little chunk off each one like this. This is kind of a strange flower. Okay, you can kind of see where I'm going with this and then on the bottom, I use the uh, rounded part and just give a little, uh, a little more of a flared out effect. And this doesn't look like much now, but when it's in the ice water, it will uh, pop out, look a lot more three dimensional. Okay, I'm going to switch to a larger tool and uh, gives a slightly different effect. I'm going to use the next size up here. pretty nice little uh, tool bag that it comes in too. Alright, so for the next size, quickly cut off the bottom. You always want them to stand up flat, even for later when they, uh, when they puff up. So you can do a lot of different things, a lot of different garnishes with these. Uh, I'm going to, on this one I'm going to do it kind of reverse. We're going to start at the bottom, and we're going to come up like this just all the way around Okay, that'll pop off. 
there you go kind of cool I like it I suppose I should use the knife and maybe open this up a little bit because it will uh, when it gets cold it will pop out comes a little more three-dimensional this is where it's helpful to have a razor sharp thin knife like this Japanese knife uh, a lot of you guys out there don't have them I know the schools and you know you know families mom and dad whatever they got a bunch of crap but that's okay you can start with the crap move up to the good stuff later uh, it's just nice to have the the good stuff man it's so much easier to cut uh, more efficient it's safer there's so many reasons why you need good tools there you go okay so gonna go in the ice water got some ice water here this will be uh, in the refrigerator as well and these will puff up support your sponsor chefdepot.com have a beautiful day